What's up, everyone? Happy Monday. So I want to kind of go over what's been working for me in this market because I've been doing really, 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 really well. And I don't want to jinx it, but I just had another $20,000 day today. And I'll post my P&L in the uh, description so you guys can see it as well. But I've been doing really, 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 really well in this market. So there's a couple things I want to go over, a couple concepts I want to go over, and then we're going to be talking about today's trade. So the main thing that has been working really, really, really well for me in this market cycle is understanding the money flow concept. Now, this is something that we started talking about uh, earlier last year in 2022 is the money flow concept. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain it again very, very clearly so that you guys understand. And then I'm going to talk about how to use that concept to make money in the markets. So the money flow concept. So the money flow concept is very simple. So what you have to realize about the stocks that we trade, the small cap stocks that we trade is people that are buying these stocks, most of the time are buying them as lottery tickets. They say, I'm going to buy this stock at $1. I'm going to buy this stock at $2. And then if it goes to five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm going to retire. I'm going to buy myself a BMW, whatever it is. And as you guys know, 99% of lottery tickets are zeros, right? So what ends up happening is people that put money into these small cap stocks, people that put money into these penny stocks, they're just putting money into whatever stock they think is hot and they think is going to go up on the day, right? So the money flow concept is very simple. So what the money flow concept means is that if there's two stocks moving on the day, right? And stock one is the first stock of the day that's going up, that's going up, that's going up. Well, when stock two shows up and stock two seems to be going more aggressively up, people that bought the lottery ticket of stock one, they sell it. They sell it to put their money into the new stock. And then stock three shows up. It keeps going crazy. They sell stock two to put it into stock three and then so forth, so on and so forth. So the way that you could profit on this for me as a short bias trader is when the money flow exits stock one and enters stock two, that tells me that it is time to short stock one. The money flow is exiting and entering a new stock. Same thing. When stock number two's money flow is exiting and moving to stock number three, it makes stock number two a lot easier to short. So for me, in this market cycle with a lot of stocks moving, I'm not trying to figure out what's gonna be the hot stock, what's gonna be the side stock. All I'm doing is trying to identify the top stocks that are moving on the day, usually two to three stocks that are moving on the day. And then when the money flow exits stock one and goes to stock two, I'm gonna short stock one. When money flow exits stock two and moves to stock three, I'm gonna short stock two. That's how you profit as a long bias trader. Now, I mean, that's how you profit as a short bias trader. As a long bias trader, when you see the money flow entering the stock that you like, then that is your ability to piggyback that trend and join that trend. But if you see the money flow exiting that stock and you see people starting to short that stock, that might be your signal that, hey, you should move on to money flow number three. So the money flow concept is what we talk about every single day in MIC and it's been the single number one single thing that has led to me having an awesome, awesome year so far. I can't even believe it. It's been going really, really well. I'm focused, I'm sharp, I'm staying zoned in because what I've been doing is making sure that I'm not touching that hot stock. And if I am, that I am stopping out if I am wrong. So today we have a lot of crazy stocks moving. So let me talk about what I did today. So I made most of my money on LCID today. I shorted around $14.50 pre-market, and right now it's trading around $12. So it went down a lot. So that was where my main winner came. And the reason why is because LCID had a parabolic move on Friday. It went from $8 to $18 on news that the Saudis were gonna buy a stake in it. And after it had that parabolic move up, it had a parabolic move down. And this morning, pre-market, it bounced. So all I did is short the bounce on the stock that topped out. And had I covered a little bit later, I got out way too early. I would have made an extra $20,000. So I actually underperformed today. I got out way too early. That was number one. Now let's talk about stock number two, uh, GNS. GNS was a stock that was moving like crazy, moving like crazy, moving like crazy until we had HSCS take the money flow. So when GNS was moving and HSCS started moving even crazier, money exited GNS, it moved to HC, HSCS, 
and that allowed me to short GNS, okay? So that was actually what went really well for me today. In addition, we had BZFD, that was from the watch list to short. Our watch list was to short around 375. It hit 370 and I got my 370 short and I got out around like 350. It ended up going to $3, so I underperformed there too. But the key, the key, the key has been stock selection. Finding which stocks are fitting my criteria, finding which stocks are fitting my strategy, which stocks are fitting my setups because with 8,000 different stocks moving every single day, it is very, very easy to get distracted. What I do is I like to post the watches of the stocks that I like to trade. I like to post what I think is a high probability setup. And today, BZFD was a high probability setup. Lucid LCID was a high probability setup. GNS after it topped out was a high probability setup. So the key for this video, if you are watching it as a member or non-member is to understand the money flow concept. Now, something else to make sure of is if there's only one stock moving on the day and there's no new stock here, there's no new stock there, chances are the money flow is going to remain in that stock. It's going to remain there. So because the money flow is going to remain there, that means it's a higher probability of the stock trapping you. So the money flow concept comes in very, very handy when there's two, three, four different runners on the day because the money goes from here to there then here to there then here to there then here to there. So I short then short, then short, then short. I only short when the money flow exits. So that's why in MIC, we mentioned the money flow concept so that if you are still learning how to identify it, if you still are not understanding to identify, you will at least know that, hey, money is flowing out of this stock. So as a long bias trader, you should probably pull your money out of the stock too. As a short bias trader, you should start to put in money into that stock because it's gonna start to reverse. So that is the money flow concept. That is another million dollar concept. And this is going to help you improve your trading. Now, in addition to that, right? In addition to that, what's been really helping me this year is sticking to the zombie rules, okay? We talk about the zombie rules nonstop. It is what we started MIC on. It is our claim to fame is the zombie rules. And the zombie rules are very simple. It means after 10.30 a.m., after 10.30 a.m., after 10 30 a.m stocks tend to find the bottom and reverse so as a short bias trader after 10 30 a.m no more shorting as a long bias trader 10 30 a.m is your green light it is your signal it's your way to tell you hey there's money to be made if i didn't have a bunch of other responsibilities if i didn't have a thousand different things to do i would be trading long at zombie times every single day so what's been working in this current market cycle is stock selection, picking the right stocks to trade, the money flow concept, understanding the timing, the timing as to when you should be trading these stocks long or short, and then knowing when to walk away at 1030 as a short bias trader, walk away at 1030 as a long bias trader. That's when you get to start to bulldoze into your setups, right? So that's the main things that I want to be talking about today is the money flow concept, the zombie concept, and pretty much what's been working. So I've been doing really, really, fuck bro, it feels, it feels really nice, man. It feels really, really nice uh, to kind of not be mentally in your head. I know a lot of people are still struggling in this market. What I tell you is less is more, okay? Understand the very, very basic concepts, which are money flow, zombie times, and if you need help, reach out, man, reach out. There's very few trading communities. There's very few people out there that come on here and every single week, make a video, make a video, make a video. I'm recording this video at 11.31 a.m. I just finished trading. I am done for the day, locked in my $20,000 day, which I'm gonna put in the description below. So aside from these main concepts, guys, aside from these main concepts, uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions. Um, if you want to learn more about trading, you get to go to myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. We have a free one hour mentorship course that will take you through our strategies and that will even show you some live trades. So if you want to check that out, but aside from that, I'm going to keep it going. Start off Monday the right way. Tomorrow's Bow's Instagram live day. Wednesday's Tosh's webinar. Thursday's Austin's webinar. Friday's day off. Saturday's weekend mentoring. So We've been doing really well, man. I'm feeling very happy. So I want to kind of come back on here 
every single week and provide you guys with the main concepts that I think are working in the current market action. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you guys have any comments, let me know, but please leave a like, please leave a comment, please subscribe to the channel, and please let me know if these videos are helping you or if there's a different concept that you want me to cover in the next video. So thanks guys, and I'll see you guys back in the room.